How's it going? It is February 26, 2023, and it's Aki's birthday today. Look at her, she's watering the plants. Hey, darling. Hello. My bat. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Do you know what we're doing today, darling? Uh, no. Well, I'll tell you. We're going to Korea. I have to bat. Ah! Done. Let's go! Yeah! We've made it to South Korea. Yay! I didn't realize there was no time zone difference between Seoul and Japan, so it's exactly the same time. It's about four o'clock right now, so we're gonna head to our hotel and then get some food, I guess. You hungry? Yeah, and also there's so much baby shark ads everywhere. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was Korean. But I guess it is, I don't know. But like every cart has like baby shark ads on it. We have made it to our hotel room. We're on the very top floor. 29th floor. I'm Look at that, in the middle of Seoul. The lady who uh, was checking us in, well, first of all, her English was very good, but she also got Aki a gift knowing that it was her birthday. What did she give you? Dad. A fucking dog. I didn't know. Is this like a is this like a four seasons yeah. mascot? Yeah, I oh, guess yeah. so. Yeah, she pulled it she pulled it out like, oh it's your birthday, happy birthday. And then the child in me was like mine. <laughs> so uh we're going to probably once we kind of settle in and get everything sorted out, we're probably gonna go get some food somewhere. I want some Korean food, dude. Same. I'm kind of excited to just kind of walk around the city. It looks it looks kind of sick. Also, I thought this was like another room. It just turns out yeah, to be a mirror. Yeah, no, I almost knocked into it. <laughs> so something very nice just happened. Uh This lady came in and found out that it was Aki's birthday and she got you a, a cupcake. I've stayed at Four Seasons before. Maybe just never on my birthday. Did they always do this? I don't know. Maybe maybe this is just like <coughs> four seasons in Korea. This is really nice. This is very nice. It has like I think that's like pistachio. It's very pink. You should, you're gonna eat it. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want to. Yeah. I've never seen anyone eat a cupcake with a knife and fork. Hmm. Uh -huh. So just to give context, it's about three degrees right now, three Celsius. Um, I'm wearing a full jacket which is fine for me, but like Aki for some reason, who is worse at the cold than I am, is like, no, I don't need a jacket. It's and now she's regretting it. It's fine. Okay. I wanted to look good. All right, sure. So yourself. You know, it's kind of weird. Seoul, or at least this part of Seoul that we're in right now, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like, what did you say again? It's like Ginza. Ginza or Roppongi, like just the very bougie area of Tokyo. Yeah, like this intersection for sure reminds me of that. Oh yeah, so that's the temple over there that we uh, can go okay. in the morning. Sure. That might be cool to visit. Okay. I think that we are going this way. Look at all this meat. I'm getting some steamed eggs. Steamed eggs? Hell yeah. Let's go, let's go in. So Aki wants to drink, which is a rarity. And uh, you got yourself a black currant liqueur, I guess. I can't wait, I don't know what that is. Let's crack it up. It's so rare for Aki to be drinking. She drinks like, like maybe twice a year. So this is just big one. Bye, happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Shot? Is it a shot? No, anymore. Wow, uh, give it a go. It's okay. Let me try. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. That's white. Starters in that proper charcoal. I've never had that before. Also, it was cold as fuck, but now it's really hot. Yeah, it's really hot. It's really hot. Oh my god. You know this thing's gonna be bussin'. Look at that. I think we hit a jackpot so far. <laughs> you ate it before I could film it. Shit, we wrapped it up in uh, this and that with the, with the pork. Is it good? Hell yeah. Aki's gonna make me a wrap with the, the new bulgogi that we just got. Oh, this one or? Oh, give me the bulgogi. Can I, can I sell that as well? Sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
So good. Oh. Oh my god. Well, first meal of Korea, and that was freaking awesome. Did you like that? I did, yeah. yeah. Thank you for offering me your jacket, by the way. Yeah. I didn't ask for it. Uh, I could have dealt without it. I want to look good, she said, and then she stole my freaking jacket. <laughs> But we're gonna head over now to uh, this little, I guess, shopping district that's kind of nearby called Myeongdong. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, uh, just a disclaimer that we might mispronounce everything in this video. Uh, yeah, exactly. I am not, I wanna learn Korean, but I'm not anywhere close to getting proficient enough. But yeah, it's about a 15 minute walk. I figured we would like walk it there instead of taking the taxi because, you know, I wanna, I wanna see the city. I wanna see what Seoul's all about. And so far, it's really, really pretty. I just wish I, you know, had a jacket. Perhaps this one. Sucks to be you, man. Here we are at Myeongdong. They have street food here and like little markets and stuff. Let's check it out. We didn't get to have it earlier because the uh, the restaurant didn't have it, but they have topogi. Yay! I kind of want to eat it, even though I am um, incredibly full. I'm full. Uh, you're. Good. I'm good. All right, it's it's all mine. Then. It's all mine. It's probably gonna be too spicy for you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Look at that. God damn. Oh yeah. It's pretty spicy. Oh, okay, I'm okay then. That's so good though. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm. Have a tiny bite. Uh, okay. Tiny bite. That is so spicy. Oh. That's so spicy. Dude. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Look my fingers. Please. <coughs> it's too spicy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this thick mama. Damn, boy, he's thick. Eat it. Shoot. Look at all this street food here. Oh, yeah. There's so many. We're gonna come back like here or go to some other like street food market to just eat everything yeah. instead of going to a restaurant. I love how the camera angle changes just because of how short I am. I'll turn it around. Hi. All right, Aki's going into a closed store. I can't go in because I still got the top boggy, but see ya. Have fun. I guess I'm stuck outside by myself. At least I'm in front of too cool for school over there. Well, good news everyone, uh, I got my jacket back because Aki just went into this store and got herself a brand new jacket. Is it warm? Yeah, it does a little job. Yeah, it's definitely your style as well, I feel. Yay! That leather jacket. Nice. Yeah. Now that is one of the most fun sculptures I've ever seen in my life. This guy in the middle. <laughs> dude, he's like... ah! <laughs> he's about to eat shit, dude. Yeah. If, when she stomps down... She's like, you're about to eat shit. By the way, we just stopped by at a 7-Eleven because of course Japan has it. Aki got some snacks. What'd you get? You got some corn snacks? Yeah, some corn snacks. And I got me my favorite fucking Korean thing. This is milkus. It's like kind of the Korean equivalent of kalpis. I guess if that makes sense. Right. Yeah, but this is so good. It's so milky. So something really interesting just happened there. Uh, as, as you were seeing that last shot, and I finished up, this Korean guy just like, just randomly started talking to me. Thought it was a fan. Nope, it was just a Korean guy who could speak English very well because he used to live in the UK and he just wanted to talk to me and just be like, welcome to Korea. Right. So, you know. But I'm always like, kind of like very like sharp being like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> Is this leading somewhere? Yeah. Like, are you about to ask us to do something? Nah, nah, if he, he didn't give me that vibe and if he did, then I would have just, you know, just told him to just be like, yeah, no, not right now kind of deal. You know, you, there's, there's ways to deal with that. But yeah, it was just like, he was just like, yeah, I just work in that building over there. Um, have a good time in Korea. And I'm like, oh, sweet. That's, you know what? If, if, if I can give Korea anything, it's the fact that people are just a lot more open here, English I feel. English is so common. And English is so common. Everyone speaks English here. Japan, come on, bro. Yeah. You, we got to get on that. We got to get on that, bro. Good morning, everyone. It is day two in South Korea. Here's the view of the outside, because I don't know if I got an actual good shot of it yesterday. It's a little bit hazy, 
but uh, at least the weather is good. It's not raining or anything like that. So thank God. But today we're going to be going around to a couple of places. There's actually like a temple of some kind, uh, very, very close to here. So we're going to walk over there, grab some breakfast. And then I think we're just going to go shopping today. I don't know what the plan is. All right, anyway, we'll figure it out. Let's go. So we're on our way to a uh, temple right now. We just happened to find this statue over here of King Sejong, I think is the name. He's like a 15th century king. I wanna take some photos. Go for it. That's very nice on the side of the statue here. It shows the entire Hangul alphabet. It looks like a, it looks like a bunch of unknown Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all I can see. Does anyone else see that? I mean, it is true, yeah. So the first, like, I think 20 or so are uh, all consonants. And then the lines on the right-hand side are the vowels. So the characters are basically just built up of a combination of consonant and vowel sounds. You know, I've only been in Korea for a day and I already kind of figured out how to read it. Um, it's just a matter of remembering which symbols are what consonant and what vowel. But after that, it's fairly simple to figure out what is what. So here we are at Guanquaman. Let's go. I just realized these are real people. I thought those were mannequins. Yeah, they're real soldiers. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool how they've just preserved a, a very, very old 700 year old temple just in like the middle of the city. The architecture of this yeah. looks like when you take your uh, PC apart. <laughs> <laughs> like... Wow. Really, you're really gonna you're really gonna do 700 years like that? I mean, it, 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 doesn't it look like a chip? It's extremely intricate. It's very very pretty. Yeah. It is really gorgeous though, and it's huge yeah. as well. Like this entire area is massive. It's pretty cool. They have a a vacuum for the dirt on your shoes. Give it a go. That's something you don't see in Japan. I think the coolest part about Asia, anywhere you go, is these cool side streets that you can find. These like super traditional looking places. It's yeah. so cool. Just every corner you turn, there's just Whoa. something. Oh man, look at that. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah, these are easily some of the coolest places where it's so cramped in. And there's so many things like, look at that. Seafood places. The fishmonger right here. Small, tiny local restaurants and stuff like that. So cool. You can just get lost in here, I feel. Especially when you get to crossroads like this. <laughs> here we are at the Kwangjung Market. It's a little marketplace right here. It looks pretty cool. It's like a little short thing guy. Our friend who used to live in Korea basically just said, just try all the street food. Mm. And uh, don't go to tell me, dog. I'm already there. Oh, look at all the fishmongers and everything. Lots of food stalls around here as well. Gotta try something while we're here. I thought about maybe getting the UK or even the Yuktong, which is like UK with uh, octopus. But then I saw they have Yuki Bibimba. Gotta have that. Oh yeah, we got some proper Yuki Bibimba. So she said that we should use this to mix. 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 Do you want to do that? Is it spicy? <laughs> Very very good. Yo, they got that spice. Uh -huh. I feel like you die trying to eat this. I'm dying just looking at it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. And Try it I out. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. Is it spicy though? No. Thank you. Let's try it. Oh, that's so good. I just found That's very good. Mm. Let's try some gimbap here. Yeah. 
It's cool. really, it's really light. Let's really go. Very lovely Korean couple that was sitting next to us. Yeah, hi. If you ever see this, it's <laughs> us again. <laughs> they told me a bunch of like Korean phrases, like different types of like ways to say thank you. Mm -hmm. And I think Jai uh, Mogutsumida is like thank you for the meal. Oh it's kind of like Gochisol Sama. So uh, I busted it out on the the woman that we just met at that stall, and she seemed she seemed happy. She seemed impressed. Oh look, I'll we'll find you off. What is it? Blood sausage. Oh, the Korean blood sausage? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that. I think so. Huge. I think that's it. I mean, it definitely looks like it. Let's go to this one. There's a big thing of fruit coming in. I think we're in the lunch peak right now because the amount of people here is getting pretty insane. Also, there's just a bike coming through. Of course. It just doesn't stop. It keeps going on forever. I know, it's so much food. I know. How is one person supposed to be able to eat this much? <laughs> I just found a thing and I pointed to Joy and said, that looks like Dr. Jelly, but like 3D. I can't believe I, without knowing, I was in an ad <laughs> in Korea. That just straight up looks like me. What the <laughs> fuck? I never know I did, a, I did an ad for nose cleansing spray. That's, that's scary. <laughs> that legitimately looks like me. It's like if there was a 3D model of Dr. Jelly. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> On our way to another mall and uh, Aki's found a river that she wants to go down to see. There's like a little walking path that we can go down onto. So we're here now at the Dong... Architecturally futuristic building I've seen in all of Seoul. Mm. I don't know what's in here. I assume it's some kind of like contemporary arts museum of some kind, which I'm down to go check out because I do like contemporary arts museums. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah. All right. Let's go. This is one of the most post-apocalyptic looking buildings I've ever I'm been in. I'm getting like portal vibes. Look at this. This is so backroomsy. It's so bizarre. By the way, I think this place is free as well, which is pretty cool. Yo, look, they're doing the fusion. They're going to turn into pink yellow man. Fusion. Ha. Dude, this guy's like, come here. I just want to give you a hug. No, I don't want to. It's like, come oh, on. Hey, please. Come on now. I'll give you a hug. No. Hey, sweetie. Do you want these nuz on your face? <laughs> Where are you going? We are at a brand new place. Where are we? You say it, I'm still... Oh, okay, Aki's still a bit car sick <gasps> on that. Jesus Christ. Don't throw up on me, please. Okay. But we're at the Starfield Coex Mall. Uh, this is like, I think, one of Korea's biggest malls, if I'm not mistaken. It's about an hour away from uh, our hotel. But man, we got really lucky because we're in peak hour traffic right now. I mean, look at that. And uh, it was intense. It was really, really intense. That's why I was a little bit casting. That's yeah. why I always try not to look at my phone while I'm in a car, because I get the same thing as well. I was telling Joey though that like the sights of this is like what I was imagining like Seoul to be. Mm. Like this whole time. Because where we're staying, it's a little bit more like gray. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I guess. Know. I don't I know. know. It's because if it's like nighttime. Yeah, like, I think it's because it's just nighttime. I'm getting like, like Shinjuku vibes. Oh yeah, like coming into this area of Seoul, like definitely reminded me a lot more of like kind of Tokyo-esque vibes, I would say. Yeah, but uh, we've just been living in Tokyo for too long. Yeah, we have. We've been we've been blessed by the Tokyo architecture. I'm like, where where are all the neon lights and shit? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go inside, check it out, do some shopping. I heard there's like an aquarium in here as well, and Yay. a bunch of restaurants. So I guess I'm, we'll check it out, and see what it's like. I can do Korean barbecue again. Yeah, Aki was like, I want to do Korean barbecue yeah. again. I'm like, I'm not gonna say no to that. So so uh, let's go in. So this is one thing I was kind of looking forward to coming here. This is an insanely cool bookstore. Look how massive these are. All of these are books. That's wild. How do you even reach up the higher ones up there? I don't even know. But this is very, very cool. It's like the whole outside. This goes all the way across this entire mall. I wonder what happens if you just like find a book here and you're just like, I'm gonna grab it. That's so cool though. Whoa. <laughs> Going right next to the bookshelf. Just to get a sense of scale of how big this thing is, right? Like, I'm able to watch this shelf. Like, how do you even begin to start looking for a book in here? I, I, I don't. 
it's insane. It's just like the entire wall. Bookstore might just be like those shelves right there. I mean, maybe I don't know. By the way, it's so cool. Also, I'm sorry, I didn't know National Geographic had drip. I had to cop one because it's so freaking cool. Apparently, I didn't know this. A lot of Koreans wear National Geographic drip, and you know what? Good choice. Well, let's just say uh, we did a lot more shopping than I had originally anticipated. Look how much Aki bought. This is, a, this is a little bit. Bro, you can catch these hands. Specifically those hands right there. <laughs> those giant hands. Stare into the bowl of truth. Oh yeah, what's that little thing sticking out there? It's a nip. It's, it's the a, smaller bowl of truth. It's a giant boob. Oh yeah, it is. If you look at it from this angle, Demonetized. Well, we are back at the hotel. I just checked today. We walked 15 kilometers. No wonder my legs are fucked right now. Yeah. Yeah. But last day tomorrow in Korea, we'll last full day before we head back. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but uh, I guess you guys will find out in about two seconds. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hi, oh. It's day three, last day in Korea. Where are we going today, darling? I actually don't know. Oh, I'll tell you. We're going to that tower over there in the distance. Apparently there is a bunch of uh, walking trails around there. So I figured, you know, we experienced the city yesterday. So today we're going to experience a little bit of the nature, if you will. First, we're going to go get some lunch because we slept in too long. And we haven't had any uh, KFC yet. Some Korean fried chicken. We're ready to go eat some KF motherfucking C boy. So the chicken place we tried to go to for lunch is not open for some reason, but there's another one close to our hotel that's open for dinner. So we're going to do that instead. In the meantime, we're walking to a mall and I just happened to find uh, these trees that have crochets on them. So cute. They, they got like little scarves on the trees and it's all down this road. It's pretty cool. It has cool. like the brand on them too, I think. Someone, can you translate this? Maybe it's a name of someone who yeah. made it. I don't know, but it's very okay. cute. It's all down this road. Adorable. Yo. New Titans just dropped in the new latest Attack on Titan episode. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think there's some kind of trick to this where you have to stand in a particular location or like maybe aim it down. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. How does this work? Not too sure. Look how long Korean spoons are. Yeah, why is that? Is it just because it's more elegant? Um, I was looking it up and yeah, it says like it's more elegant and then I saw like a rule that it's kind of frowned upon to have both chopsticks and your spoon like at the same time. Well, <laughs> I mean, when it comes to food, I had to get the bibimbap again because I mean, you can't miss with this. Mm. Let's go. We're about to go climb up Namsam Tower and we have to go up this inclined elevator once it comes back down. That's pretty cool. Never seen anything like that before. But we're gonna go up there and ride a cable car. Up we go. Going up. You see it? Yeah. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is Namsum Tower, which is essentially, from my understanding, like the Tokyo Tower of Korea. I don't know if that's gonna get me canceled by a bunch of Koreans. I'm sorry, I'm just a dumb tourist. They're doing that thing where they put all the locks uh, of like love or whatever but it it's goes love lock. love lock but it goes on forever there's so many of them and there's also this like weird i guess tower wall watch tower thing i don't i don't know what that is exactly but i assume you can take a photo up there gonna be honest with you dog i don't think we'll be climbing up uh soul tower today just purely because the weather is not that great and i don't think the view is going to be changing that differently anyway at least it gives us something to do uh when we come back to seoul that's for sure we made it. We're at Kyochon, baby. Kyochon, thank you, Rose, for the recommendation. I, we asked her um, for like recommendations for some KFC. Yeah. Korean fried chicken, not Kentucky. She told us to come here. Yeah. So we're gonna see what uh, it's all about. Hell yeah! Oh my God, it's here, and I am hungry. 
So it's kind of cool because they give you these like little tongs to like hold the pieces of chicken up. Oh wow, it's just like right into it. How is it? Sorry. Is it good? All right, let me, let me try this then. And I'm just like, be stop talking. They just want to see you eat it. Bro, so this is the honey one, I think? Yeah, it's so good. Mm. God damn, that's good. And then they have like kind of a yum yum style. I think this one's a little bit spicy. Welcome to our mukbang. Yeah. Oh, that one's spicy, but. Oh. My god, it's good. But apparently in Korea, uh, eating fried chicken with a beer is the way to go. So don't mind if I do. Yo, I gotta say, that chicken, 10 out of 10. What do you think? We couldn't even like really properly record eating it because we were just so invested. Oh, we just destroyed that bucket, dude. It was so goddamn we were good. We too invested eating it. Like, yeah. we're just like, we can't even turn on the cameras. You gotta <laughs> But yeah, this is the last night. Uh, we just hit up a little... Uh, supermarket to get some snacks and stuff like that uh, but tomorrow is our flight back to Japan back to the normal life how was Seoul so far I like it yeah, yeah I'd come back oh yeah no I think we're definitely gonna be coming back sometime soon for sure but yeah guys um that's probably where I'm gonna end this vlog for the time being thank you for watching if you made it this far um, and yeah, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on Seoul. If you've been to Seoul, if you live in Seoul, uh, give us your thoughts and all that kind of stuff. You I don't... have a beautiful Seoul. Wait, no, that's not that song. No, that's beautiful, girl. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.